In this quick video, I want to show you the new namespace self-service feature that's built into vSphere 7.0 U2A. So as you can see, we've got our uh, supervisor cluster up and running here. We've got one namespace already, and we're in the uh, cluster level configure tab. We've opened up namespace as general, and you can see this new namespace service option. So if we turn this on, it'll say, okay, you've already turned this on before. We're going to reactivate it with the existing settings because, you know, I've set this up before, so that makes sense. So we'll say use uh, existing. You can, of course, create a new one if you want with new permissions and new quotas, but we'll just use what we had there to begin with. Okay, so as you can see, it has been activated. I can, of course, edit the configuration here. So you can see it's currently 10 gigahertz of compute, 20 gigs of memory, 100 gigabytes of storage and then the storage class that is being allocated from you can also choose what network these namespaces get created in by default so obviously anytime a developer creates a namespace they get a quota of this much against their namespaces additionally we can edit our permissions here if we want to as well so you can uh, set your identity source I've already added the administrator account that I'm using for this demo, so I'm not gonna do it again, but you can see that you can just add users ad hoc here that have permissions to create namespaces. Additionally, you can copy the link to the CLI tools and send that to your developers as well. So what we're gonna do here is go into my terminal and I'm already logged into this cluster. So if I do a kubectl create namespace uh, test, what you should see on the left-hand side here is that test namespace get created inside of vSphere with Tanzu. And there it is. So if we click on that test namespace, you can see it's now up and running and active. It's got the limits and quotas that we assigned to it. So 10 gigahertz compute, 20 gigs of memory, 100 gigs of storage. Uh, it's also got the new VM service feature enabled by default. If you want more information on that, check out the link in the description. And what we're going to do here is disable it just to show you what happens whenever you disable this feature as well. So if we go back into our namespace service, we choose disable. So it says existing namespaces will not be affected. So that test namespace will stay around. Developers won't be able to create new namespaces, but they will still be able to delete the namespaces that they've created. So if we click deactivate here, what you'll see is the service gets turned off. And once it's turned off, what I'm going to do is attempt to create a new namespace that should fail. And then we'll try and delete this test namespace and that should still succeed. So if we go back in here and I do kubectl create namespace test two, that has failed. But if I do kubectl delete namespace test, you can see that Kubernetes has acknowledged that change and now the uh, namespace is gone from vSphere with Tanzu. So that's just a very quick uh, look at a small feature that we've introduced in U2A called namespace self-service.